What's up everybody, it's Wes with Tree City Trading here with another crypto video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Unisat wallet. This is just gonna be a quick overview on what the Unisat wallet is, how we're gonna use it in the Zen ecosystem, and how you can fund your wallet. Over the last few weeks, Bitcoin ordinals and BRC20 tokens on the Bitcoin network have been going viral. There have been so many different NFT inscription projects coming out, including one in the Zen ecosystem, the Zen Knights. And in order to interact with the Zen Knight to be able to receive one or purchase one, you must have a Bitcoin wallet with a taproot address. And in addition to the Zen Knights, Jack Levin also announced that the Zen team is launching a BRC20 token project and that you're going to need a Unisat wallet with a Taproot account set up. So let's run through that really quick. And to make things easy, I'm going to set up Unisat with the Chrome browser add-on. So to do that, I'm going to head over to unisat.io and about halfway down on the screen, you'll see that you can download the Unisat wallet. So we'll go ahead and click the link to download the add-in from the Chrome store. Once we're in the Chrome store, we can see the extension. We'll want to verify that it's the unisat.io version, and that'll tell us that it's safe to download. So we'll go ahead and add to Chrome, and then we'll click the button to add the extension. Once the Unisat wallet has been added to Chrome, we'll have the option to either create a new wallet or restore a wallet from a seed phrase or private key. In this case, we're gonna create a new wallet. The first thing that we're gonna do is create a new wallet password. The second thing we're gonna do is write down the seed phrase. It's incredibly important to keep your seed phrase safe and private. Once you have your seed phrase written down and marked in a safe place, go ahead and check the box that you saved your recovery phrase and hit continue. Now it's gonna ask us to create a new HD wallet. In this case, we're gonna create a Taproot wallet. To do so, we'll click on Taproot and then we'll hit continue. Perfect. Now our Unisat wallet's set up. To access the wallet, we can click on the browser add-in in the top right. From here, you'll be able to see your Bitcoin public key and any BRC20 tokens or NFTs that you have in the wallet. Within the wallet, there's also some NFT services such as the Unisat Inscribe, the Ordinals NFT Marketplace, and OpenOrdex and Magic Eden, which are two other NFT marketplaces. And now that we have the Unisat wallet created, we'll have to fund it using an exchange or some kind of on-ramp. In my case, I'm gonna use Coinbase to fund my Unisat wallet. So what I'll do is I'll open my Unisat wallet. Once I have my Unisat wallet open, I'll be able to click on my Bitcoin address to copy it to my clipboard. Then I'll be able to paste the address into Coinbase and type in the amount of Bitcoin I want to send. Once I send the Bitcoin, it'll show up in my Unisat wallet and I'll be able to connect it to the Unisat marketplace to view and trade for ordinals. In addition to the ordinals, there's also the BRC20 tokens that I'll be able to buy and trade with the new Bitcoin in my Unisat wallet. One thing you'll want to keep in mind is that Bitcoin is a slow and busy network, so you'll want to be mindful of the gas fees. You don't want to lose your Satoshis because the gas fees are too high while you're trying to buy a BRC20 or mint an ordinal. And that's about it. Now that we have the Unisat wallet created, we funded it with Bitcoin from Coinbase, we'll be able to interact with the Bitcoin network and mint some DGEN PP. And as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. Have a great day.